What is up guys, it's Josh here and today I am bringing you a Hunger Games gameplay commentary for your viewing pleasure. Today I was playing as the Hermit Kit because there wasn't a spawn swamp and the only swamp was really far away so whenever that happens I either go on another server or I play as Hermit. This time I decided to play as Hermit and I was playing a little differently than I usually do because usually I'll get a stone sword and soup and then hunt but... I decided I would mine for iron this time since there was a nice little cave system here. So I went for that strategy this game. And you'll see later that uh, 1.6 zombies, they got buffed. So basically when you hit zombies, they'll spawn other zombies around them in dark places. And that is just not good for mining in caves. So uh, here some guy tries to uh, intrude on my mining expedition. He's wearing a pumpkin, uh, like a pro, but uh, uh, I'm not afraid of those pumpkins, so I go at him, refill here, he runs away to try to refill uh, as well, but I start hitting him, and I finish him off there, so I continue in this other branch of the mine here, um, and it, it, I kill a zombie there, and they don't always spawn other zombies, but a lot of the times they do. I think when they take damage, they spawn other zombies. So that is really obnoxious. I was basically just running away from zombies at this point. I found kind of a narrow passageway to set up in. And here you see that I'm hitting the zombies. And they're they're falling from the ceilings at this point. I, I was about to get overrun here. So I kill this one. And of course there's more behind me, in front of me all around above me below me so yeah I stick my iron in the furnace there so it can smelt well while uh, I, I try and fight off these zombies even a baby decided to come in and and join the party here and those were actually really annoying because they're hard to aim at they actually got rid of a lot of my stew here which I could have definitely used in this game um, but yeah, eventually I decided just to block off the entrances because it really wasn't working out at this point. Uh, they just kept coming and kept coming, so I block it off so that uh, they'll basically just be at bay and I can have some, some peaceful smelting in this game. So yeah, I got 30 iron, enough for a water bucket, uh, all the armor, and a sword. I thought about putting the the pumpkin on but then I realized my texture pack doesn't doesn't make it so you don't have that shaded pumpkin effect when you put the pumpkin on and I really hate playing with that so once I get once the texture pack that I used to use gets updated I'll probably use that and that does the the pumpkin thing it also makes iron more noticeable which I really like and a few more things just uh, custom for PvP which I really like but anyways, I got plenty of iron at this point, and I just got to mine out of the cave. Um, still plenty of players remaining. This guy was trying to get iron, same as me, but uh, he was just too slow, and I came and killed him. Nothing really I could do with his iron, because I already smelted all the iron I needed. So yeah, uh, it's time to go up and start hunting. Like I said before, the strategy, get iron and start hunting. So, kind of a defensive strategy in the beginning here. So, I start hunting, and uh, I actually stumble across a uh, full iron guy and his teammate with mostly full iron. So, I go in, jump down, try and get a little, get a little surprise attack on him. Uh, I really should have focused on his teammate with less iron armor, because... I probably could have killed him faster, but in a 2v1 situation, you always want to focus on one person. He does this little wisp thing, which actually takes me out quite a bit. Um, and I just realized they they uh, patched wisps, so now your wisps have armor if you do, which is pretty cool. But yeah, they're just hitting me a ton here, and uh, I'm trying to aim for one person, but he runs away and wisps. And I take this opportunity to focus on his friend who tries to commit suicide or something, but I kill him before he can. Not really sure what his game plan was there, and his friend dies shortly after, so that was a really, really close fight. My hunger was basically down to zero at that point. And I take their armor to... Uh, to 
to repair my armor to full because iron armor doesn't last long in those long drawn out fights. But yeah, that took out away a lot of my stew as well. And that was something I was definitely lacking in this game. I, there were not a lot of people with stew uh, in the beginning of the game, so I, I really didn't have it a lot of mushrooms later on. But anyways, I'm tracking these guys who are right next to the force field, and they happen to be underground. Uh, I fall down here into their little area, and I notice that one of them's a madman, so... I thought that they were, it was only going to be one guy, but it turns out that there were actually multiple of them. And they're trying to just stall here to try and make me weaker, but I know uh, since I have the armor that I can definitely hold out longer than, their, than the madman's teammates can. But they had this all planned out, and it was really annoying. They just kept spamming the cobblestone, and uh, eventually my pick broke. And I actually had to craft a new one with, uh, make a crafting table and craft a new one, which was like really, really stupid, but whatever. Uh, these guys were, were just trolling me at this point, so they decide it's been long enough. I actually take out the madman here, which was uh, good because I could just one shot their teammates at that point. And they had a ton of bread that uh, I gladly take because bread is good. And so are other foods that aren't stew, so you don't have to waste any stew. Because, uh, like I said, stew was definitely a problem for me in this game. So, uh, Anyways, going up here, the feast just got announced, and I was pretty far away because those guys were at the force field, basically. So I head off across the frozen wasteland here, kind of... Uh, Kind of, it kind of took a while to get to the feast, and by the time I got there, it was like three minutes until it started, and all the towers had set up their their little traps that they like to do, so that was fun. Uh, there was a tower that I, I what there were people up there, but I really wasn't gonna worry about it, cause the feast was gonna start. So this guy, uh, I guess, decided that uh, he was gonna be hardcore and not use any stew and uh, and not a lot of armor either, so he died in two hits and here there's these team of people with no armor and I decided to go for the one who was standing still and not running away this guy actually was pretty good at PvP uh, he hit me a lot and if I had not had armor he probably would have killed me or if he had iron armor himself because he was pretty good at PvP so he runs away and it looks like there was like five other people over there who were on his team, but uh, I wasn't going to worry about them because I was wanted to go to the feast, but then I realized they were wisps, so yeah, that kind of fooled me, but I go for the one guy who's over here, uh, and he, once again, he's holding out pretty pretty well, but he runs out of stew and dies, so good fight from him, uh, he, he definitely played that pretty well and wasted a lot of my stew so here the feast starts and this time lord does this does this thing that i'll definitely probably try out in a later video but he time lords the feast so no one can get to it and he just loots it um which is pretty smart on his part but he got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff from the feast and he used time lord definitely to the best of his ability at this point um and this guy it, once again, we get time lorded and he starts looting the feast, which was pretty obnoxious, but what you gonna do? At this point, I don't have a lot of stew, and fighting two people with not a lot of stew probably won't go down too well. This guy throws a, a splash potion of healing at me, because I guess he, he's just cool like that. And he was actually a pretty good PvPer. Uh, he put on speed, so it was really hard to aim, because he was just like strafing the crap out of me, which was kind of annoying. Uh, so while we're fighting this this other guy, Acecraft decides he's gonna loot the feast, and he time lords that guy. So uh, I decide to hit him while he can't move, or I think that I think if you hit him while they can't move, then it it makes it so they can move. I don't really know. I don't play time lord too much. He kangaroos away, and this guy has regen on now. Although I was actually doing pretty well against him, uh, but he runs away. And I decide to refill my stew and just go back to the feast, see what I can get. 
once again, the other guy is getting stuff from the feast, and his, uh, his Time Lord slows me down there, which was really, really just obnoxious. I get a Lava Bucket and a few more stew because I'm pretty low at this point. Another Lava Bucket, not that I really needed it. Some steak, some poison. I was looking for strength at this point, but it just didn't happen. Uh, I go for the poison on this guy, and if you've ever been poison uh it's really, really obnoxious. You, you start losing hearts really fast, regardless of your armor. Or I think that's the wither effect. I think it does. I, I think it does less if you have armor on. But uh, yeah, this guy stands still, so I get some lava on him. Uh, and he pulls out a water bucket to counter my lava bucket, like a smart person. Uh, once again, he is doing pretty well against me at this point, although he does run away to start re-stewing, and he refills really fast, and that's one thing I didn't have is enough stew, like I was saying. He, uh, he places down some water there, countering my lava and i'm basically out of stew at this point i use those stack stew to kind of refill my inventory and uh at this point i'm on my last leg trying to kill this guy he's held out so well this far and uh unfortunately i can't hold off against him and he kills me 